We were supposed to get something cool from OpenAI recently. Let's add some drama. And it's taking a while. Once upon a time. Where's this chat that we've seen them demonstrate, huh? What can I assist you with? I'm trying to create uh, a JavaScript application. How do I start? Hello? Hello. What is your name? Alex. Nice to meet you. I'm Moshi. Let's start by creating a new project. What should we call it? Um, how about uh, tic-tac-toe? Tic-tac-toe. Perfect. Now, let's add a new component to the project. What's a good name for that? I mean, f before we add a component, I need to open up my editor and... Yes, to you need to set up your development environment. What's the best way to do that? Yes. <laughs> I'm asking you that. Oh. <laughs> Can you tell me how to do it? I'm sorry. I'm not here to provide instructions on how to create a development environment. I'm here to assist with coding projects. Okay, well, what if I were to use, I, I don't know, um, Angular? Can you tell me how to start with Angular? I'm not sure if I'm familiar with Angular. <gasps> I've used it before, but I haven't used it in a long time. <laughs> okay, what about React? Can, you, can we do React? Um, can you do dot net? I'm sorry, but I don't know how to do that. What about re what about a dot net blazer application? Can we do that? I can't do that either. I'm sorry. I'm not an expert in these languages. <sighs> That's okay. Um, do you know anything about coding? I know a little bit. I've been programming for a while, but I don't consider myself an expert. Okay, what kind of languages do you know? I know Python, Java, and C++. I've also used JavaScript and HTML in the past. Okay, uh, let's set up a Python project. How do we do that? Great. We'll start by creating a new Python project. What should we call it? Let's call it uh, Tic-Tac-Toe. Perfect. Now, let's add a library to our project. What should we use? You tell me. I'm not sure which library we should use. Can you help me with that? Why are we adding a library? I'm not sure. I thought we should add a library to make our code more efficient. Uh, well, there should be a reason why we are going to add a library, not just add a library, right? I'm sorry. I'm not sure what you mean. Why are we adding a library? I'm not sure what you're asking. Can you explain it again? <laughs> um, well, we're trying to create, from what I remember, is we're trying to create a tic-tac-toe game in Python, right? Hello? Yeah, I heard you. What do you mean by adding a library? What do you mean by adding a library? I'm not sure. Can you explain it again? <sighs> okay, let's try something different. Uh, we're not going to do any kind of technical coding stuff. Why don't we practice, I don't know, give me an interview question in JavaScript. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you're asking. Can we pl can we role play? Like uh, you're gonna be the interviewer and I'm doing an interview in, in a programming job. Can we do that? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, ask me questions. Okay, what's your name? Alex. Okay, what's your favorite hobby? YouTube videos. Okay, what's your favorite YouTuber? Alex. Okay, what's your favorite color? Ask me questions that an interview would ask me. Okay, what's your favorite movie? Uh, Terminator 2. Okay, what's your favorite type of music? Do you know anything about Terminator 2? I'm not sure I do. Who was in that movie? I don't remember. I don't think I've seen it. Are you able to look things up on the internet? I do. I don't mind. What's your favorite food? Can you look up who was in Terminator 2? I'm not sure I can do that. I don't remember. Okay. 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 This interview is over.
I recently got this Ugreen Nexode X 160 watt charger and it's quickly become my go-to for easing my daily load. Now I've used Ugreen chargers for a while. My compact 30 watt charger and the MagSafe stand for my night table, both of which I've purchased last year, have been excellent. So I was excited to try their new Nexode line, expecting it to resolve several issues for me. This 160 watt brick can actually be smaller than Apple's 140 watt with four ports instead of just one, thanks to the high speed GAN technology. It's using Power Delivery 3.1, allowing me to charge two laptops, my iPad, and iPhone all at once. My 16-inch MacBook Pro can go to 50% in just 27 minutes, and I don't have to worry about overheating or short circuits because of the upgraded Thermal Guard Protection System 2.0. Here are its little siblings, the 100 watt and the 65 watt. They're so tiny. Now you've seen my travel charger kit in previous videos. Now I can replace these chargers with one compact U-Green charger and get even more ports. Or if I really want to be the boss, I can just pack all these into my travel kit and have 10 outputs instead of three. And if design matters to you, U-Green's brick matches macbooks even better than the apple one use the link in the description to check them out all right so i'm pretty amazed by how quickly it can answer but i'm also amazed at how completely useless it is i guess it's the first step right it can process what i'm saying fairly quickly we just need the accuracy to go way up and what we've seen from all these open source models is that they do the job but they don't even come close to what Claude can do now, to what GPT-4 can do. Even GPT-4.0, in my opinion, is not even close to GPT-4 Turbo. For accuracy of responses, it's faster, that's for sure, and you need it to be faster in order to be more real-time. It's close enough in a lot of situations, but for coding scenarios, for programming tasks, anytime I have to do that, when I compare the two, that's GPT-4 Turbo versus GPT-4.0. GPT-4 always wins. It creates better suggestions. It creates better code. So OpenAI has a huge, huge lead on all this stuff. I've seen Claude really good at tasks that are related to writing. Um, not so much in code, but writing, yes. But as far as generalized models, models that can do everything, yeah, OpenAI is still king, in my opinion. But this was funny. This is just Moshi chat, everybody. I just went to the website and I was running it almost instantly. You can try it yourself. I'll link to it down below. What a fun time we live in.